Hi and welcome to our YouTube channel, Tech Check. If you want to watch the world's most expensive cars, best drones or cameras, all the links are available in the description. Please visit our channel for more daily top 5 videos. Thank you. Our topic today is top 5 best vans that are currently on the market. The topic was a suggestion of William, a subscriber. If you are interested in a certain topic, please let us know. The vans are ranked and get better and better, so stay until the end. We start with number 5 Ford Transit. The Ford Transit, also known as the Ford T-Series in some markets, is a family of light commercial vehicles manufactured by Ford since 1965, originally based on the FR layout, and now in its fourth generation. Sold primarily as a cargo van, the Transit is also built as a passenger van and marketed as the Ford Turnio since 1995, minibus, cutaway van chassis, and as a pickup truck. Over 8 million Transit vans have been sold, making it the third best-selling van of all time and have been produced across four basic platform generations, debuting in 1965, 1986, 2000, and 2013 respectively, with various, facelift, versions of each. The first product of the merged Ford of Europe, the Transit was marketed through Western Europe and Australia. By the end of the 20th century, it was marketed nearly globally with the exception of North America until 2013 when it replaced the Ford E-Series in 2015. The Transit has been the best-selling light commercial vehicle in Europe for 40 years, and in some countries the term, Transit, has passed into common usage as a generic trademark applying to any light commercial van in the Transit size bracket. While initially designed for the European market, the Ford Transit is now produced in Asia, North America, and Europe for worldwide buyers. Upon production in North America, the Transit won second place in Motor Trend's 2015, Truck of the Year, award behind the newly introduced midsize Chevrolet Colorado pickup and ahead of the new Ford F-150. As of 2016, the Transit was the best-selling van of any type in the United States, minivan sales included. The Transit is an important part of Ford's 57% share of the full-size van market in the United States. The number 4 is the VW Crafter. The Volkswagen Crafter, introduced in 2006, is the largest 3 to 5 tons van produced and sold by the German automaker Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles. The Crafter officially replaced the Volkswagen Transporter LT nameplate first launched in 1975, although it is known as the LT3 as its production plant code. Like the second generation LT, the first generation Crafter is a rebadged Mercedes Benz Sprinter built by Daimler AG, with a powertrain by Volkswagen. The Daimler variant has been also sold by Daimler as the Freightliner Sprinter and Dodge Sprinter. An all-electric variant, the E-Crafter, was released in 2017. Starting with the 2017 model year the Crafter is designed and built by Volkswagen, and no longer associated with the Sprinter. A version of the Crafter is also sold by Man Truck and Bus as the Man TGE. Its major European competitors include the Renault Master, Ford Transit, Fiat Ducato, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Iveco Daily and Hyundai H350. Engines from launch, in 2006, up to 2010, all internal combustion engines were based upon Volkswagen Group's re-engineered 2.5-liter R5 TDI. This turbodiesel is an inline 5-cylinder, R5, turbocharged direct-injection TDI diesel engine. It displaces 2,459 cubic centimeters and uses what was the latest common rail fuel system, with piezoelectric actuated injectors for the cylinder direct fuel injection. It also utilizes a diesel particulate filter, DPF, allowing all engine variants to comply with Euro 4 European emission standards. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more daily top 5 tech videos. We go on with number 3 Vauxhall Mivano. Many new cars boast of vast levels of choice and personalization, but nothing gives you the freedom that a good panel van does. The Vauxhall Mivano is one such van. Or rather it's several such vans, as it's largely the same as two other large vans, the Renault Master and Nissan NV400. The Mivano doesn't just have its sister vehicles as rivals, though. This van class is hotly contested, with the Ford Transit, Mercedes Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter and Citroen Relay, Peugeot, Boxer, 
Fiat, Ducato all competing for a slice of the same pie. Vauxhall's trump card is the sheer level of choice in the Mavano range. It's offered in four body lengths and three roof heights giving load volumes of 7.8 cubic meters to 17 cubic meters. Not only that, but there are four engine choices, front and rear wheel drive options, and an optional automatic gearbox. Still not enough? Well, you can also get your Mavano with extra seats, there's a double crew cab option, six and nine seat combi models, a full-sized 17 seat minibus, plus platform cab, box van, dropside and tipper versions. Best large panel vans. The engines are all 2.3 liter CDTI common rail diesels with varying levels of power. The engine lineup was bolstered by the addition of bi-turbo versions of the 2.3 CDTI unit that add extra muscle at the top of the Mavano range. Most models get a six-speed manual gearbox, but Vauxhall's tech shift automated manual box is an option. It's offered with the mid-range 2.3 CDTI 125 engine. The Vauxhall Mavano has been around for a while and doesn't feel as modern or polished as some of the newer arrivals on the panel van scene. It is a tough customer, however, and the arrival of the bi-turbo engines has boosted its capabilities further. The big Vauxhall remains a popular choice with operators. The number 2 VW bus. With electric vehicles becoming more mainstream each year, and few capacious EV options for families, the 2024 Volkswagen ID. Buzz Microbus aims to address a largely untapped market. The design of the ID. Buzz commemorates the German company's iconic Type 2 Microbus or VW bus for short which inspired the new van's retro design. Although we're still awaiting full details, we have a pretty good idea of what the new VW van will offer. Its all-electric powertrain is expected to provide around 300 miles of driving range, its cabin will feature flexible seating configurations, and its exterior will wear a uniquely nostalgic aesthetic. The modern microbus still has to make its official debut, but here's what we know so far. Engine, transmission, and performance. The microbus will ride on Volkswagen's modular electric drive, MEB, platform that currently underpins corporate products such as the Audi e-tron crossover and the VW ID.4 crossover. While Europe will get both a commercial and passenger version of the ID. Buzz. America will only get a long wheelbase passenger one. The base model should feature rear-wheel drive and an output of around 200 horsepower. All-wheel drive and up to 300 horsepower are expected for the top-of-the-line trim. Range, charging, and battery life. VW says the ID Buzz Cargo's battery capacity starts at 48 kWh and can be increased to 110 kWh. The company says the batteries will provide driving ranges of 200 and 340 miles, respectively. However, those numbers are based on the European WLT cycle, which is generally highly optimistic. VW claims that those who plug into a DC fast charger will be able to get an 80% charge in as little as 30 minutes. And finally the number one, the best van for us is the Mercedes Sprinter. Overview. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is a talented full-size van with diverse configurability, immense capability, and impressive technology. While the Mercedes is pricier than alternatives such as the Ford Transit and Nissan NV vans, it has an extra level of refinement and more upscale options, including an available 10.3-inch touchscreen. Along with multiple roof heights as well as cargo, crew, and passenger models, the Sprinter can be equipped with a trio of potent engines, including a diesel four-cylinder and a diesel V6. The latter is the only one that can be paired with four-wheel drive, though. With an array of available driver assists that include adaptive cruise control and a self-parking feature, the 2022 Sprinter is as high-tech as it is hardworking, which should please tradesmen and commercial drivers. Engine, transmission, and performance. The Sprinter cargo, passenger, and crew vans all are offered with three engine choices. The standard powertrain is a 188 HP turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder with a nine-speed automatic transmission. Although that's not much power for such a large vehicle, it's more than sufficient for lighter duty work. Mercedes also offers two turbo diesel options, a 2.0-liter four-pot and a 3.0-liter V6. The former produces 166 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque, 
and the latter is rated at 188 horses and 325 pound-feet. Both diesel variants come with a 7-speed automatic transmission, however, only the 6-cylinder is offered with 4-wheel drive. The Transit is also offered with 4-wheel drive. Towing and payload capacity. The Sprinter is capable of towing between 5,000 and 7,500 pounds, depending on the configuration. The Transit's maximum tow rating range starts lower at 4,000 pounds and tops out at 6,800 pounds. However, the V8-powered NV's towing capacity maxes out at 9,500 pounds. The Mercedes's payload ratings are also higher than the Ford's, with figures that range from 3,252 to 7,506 pounds versus 2,880 to 4,550 pounds. The Nissan's payload capacity maxes out at 3,720 pounds, but it's not available with a dual rear wheel axle like the other two vans. One more time. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our video today. Please like, share and subscribe for more daily top 5 videos. We appreciate it if you would help us grow. Tell us in the comments which topic you want to see next. Maybe we have it already in our gallery, like top 5 drones or another top 5 video you are interested in. See you tomorrow. Donald from TechCheck.